What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the NZXT Doco, how it works, how easy it is to set up and all of that. So I have it set up here connected to my TV. Um, all you have to do really is connect the power. HDMI cable in ethernet cable and you're good to go. Now to get it to stream from any of your PCs on the network, all you have to do is install the Doco app, which can be downloaded from NZXT's website. Very easy to use. And when you turn on your system, if you have that Doco app running on any of your PCs, they will show up here. So you can see right here that I do have um, my system called Enigma 5 ready to go and stream. Um, I am using a keyboard and mouse connected directly to the Doco. Now you can use any type of USB device to control it, whether it's a remote, a controller, wireless devices, um, anything that uses USB and it's a controller or keyboard and mouse will work with the Doco off the bat. Now, before we go in and start streaming, We'll go over here into our settings. There's not much to really do. You can update, there, there have been frequent updates. So you can go ahead, hit update and it will update the system. You can reset the system. You can actually have saved computers and you can add saved computers by IP address if you need to or want to. Um, about, just tells you your device name, firmware version, IP address, wired MAC address, things you might need. Um, and, your network is going to, you know, this is how you're going to set up your network. So if you want to auto or manual, if you want to manually put in a set IP address for your Doco, you can go ahead and do all of that. And you can set a password as well. Um, so if you want a password for the Doco, you can go ahead and set that. You can actually set passwords for each PC that you're going to stream. We'll show that in a second. And that is basically it for settings. So it's very simple, very easy to use, not a lot of settings to really change. So now to go ahead and stream, you can see we have our PC here. So I just click on it and I do have a password. So I'll go ahead and type that in on my keyboard and give it a second. And now we are streaming. So it's basically it's gonna load our, my USB devices. It's gonna give it a second here because this might take some time because these are brand new uh, keyboard and mouse. But it's gonna load my USB devices on the PC. It's USB over IP. So what that means is it's actually, if I plug in something to the do, into the Doco, it's just like using it, say, on that PC. So I do have my mouse here. I'm still giving a second to load the keyboard, uh, which is a gaming keyboard. But you can see I, I have full access to this computer. So it's basically like a remote connection, but it's on my TV. So what does that mean? What can I do? You can pretty much do anything. You know, if I want to go down in here and load up, you know, website. Um, my keyboard's not active yet. Um, <laughs> my keyboard's not uh, loaded yet. There it goes. So I can go in and, uh, you know, browse the internet on my TV. I can do all of my streaming services as well. So, you know, all of these streaming services that we're used to seeing and they're, they're on all these crazy devices that you can buy, they're all made to work in the browser. Um, Netflix, Amazon, all of those are made to work in the browser. So you can just go ahead and load all those up. Of course, we have gaming as well. So let me move this out of the way and we can load up Steam here. Let's see, we can load up Steam and I don't know, um, let's see what we can play. Let's play some game. Let's see if we can get into a Team Fortress game and see. I haven't played this in a while, so don't expect me to be that great, but you know, you can load up these games and play them. My TV's actually kind of loud right now, so sorry about that. But we'll see how good the feedback is. I've actually had, this is the first time I'm testing playing gaming on this. I've been using it to, to watch media and everything like that. Um, so, what am I doing? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get into a server here. Let's see. So I'm going to try to get into the server and we'll see if we can play some games here. Um, 
Again, this is all over your network, so your router has a lot to do with the performance. I'm using a $30 router, so performance isn't, I guess, as best as it could be, but it is over a wired network, um, so you shouldn't have that big of an issue here. But we'll see how we can do here, and you can see how bad I am at this game get some gaming in here and I'm going to see how the response is from the keyboard that I'm using here since I am going to be streaming from my main PC so we'll see how well that works So I'm not noticing a whole lot of input lag. I need to actually turn the DPI up on this mouse though. A lot. All right, well I got a kill, that's good. I got two more kills, that's pretty good. But as you can see, we do have, um, you know, we can play games on here. It's it's not that much of input lag, which is good. And that's, that's what you actually wanna do is you wanna bring your gaming to the TV. I mean, so many people are, um, you know, wanting to play their games on the TV and this just makes it so much easier, really. Oh, I just got killed. But we'll get out of that. Let's see here. And we'll quit that. But again, it's just like using your PC. And again, there's so many applications, whether it's gaming, whether it's streaming services, whether it's just browsing the internet. And again, you can use a wireless keyboard and mouse to make it so much easier. Um, and if you don't want, if you don't have an extra keyboard that you can connect to the Doco, you can actually say start a movie or start streaming on your PC. And then in the Doco software, you can actually go ahead and start streaming and then you can walk into your living room. It really is that easy. I haven't had any issues with it. There has been some lag as far as the network goes and that has a lot to do again with how your home network is set up, but it's not that bad. And as you can see, I was playing a game. There wasn't that much lag. I, I honestly didn't notice it that much um, and everything works pretty well. So, and then when you're done streaming, um, you can either hit stop on here um, or on your main PC. It, it, this is like I am on my main PC. So if I just hit the stop button to stop streaming, it will remove the USB devices and then I'm back here. And then again, we can see our, um, our main computer here that we're streaming from. It works very well. Again, the only caveat is it has to require a wired connection um, that just ensures performance. You know, I was streaming a, a first person shooter game to the device and it worked pretty well. So that is basically it for our overview. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.